That wasn't so long of a wait, was it? I've patched the memories, and we're good to go back in the simulation. With the Bsturger on our tails, we have to move fast. You can't blame me for being eager to get going. I won't blame you if you don't blame me for what happened earlier. It's just, Atlantis isn't our little secret anymore. Let's try to move on, shall we? Victoria, you have to trust me in there. I know what I'm doing. We're friends, Layla. But more than that, I'm your doctor. I can't ignore what's happening to your body when you're in there. Something is really off. I'm fine. I don't know how much more doctor talk I can take. Ugh, I'll never get used to that. She comes out of nowhere. Glad you're back. Bet even you didn't see that Abstergo ambush coming, Alethea. Not exactly. But as long as they're gone and you're ready, your journey with the stuff continues. After that cliffhanger in the pit of Elysium, you bet I'm ready. <laughs> I have to see what happens next. By interacting with the Keeper's insights in Elysium, Cassandra exchanged knowledge with the staff. That means by extension of the Animus, so have you. I gotta tell you, I do feel stronger somehow. Try to keep your head in there. Good luck, Layla. The last mortal to dance with Cerberus and live 
was Heraclius. But then he had Athena and Hermes wrapped around his mighty finger. So tell me, who's wrapped around your finger? Which god helped you slay my beast? There were no gods in that pit. Just me and my spear. <laughs> so you did have help from the gods. I know who you are. What you've done. And I'd say you owe me, Keeper. It wasn't my plan to be thrown down that hole. But here I am. What do you want from me? Thanks to you, my realm is more chaotic than ever. With Cerberus gone, there is nothing to stop the dead from crossing over to the world of the living. So find another dog. You find another dog! I'm sorry you had to see that. The blood runs hot in my family. <clears throat> you did this, so I think it's only fair that you fix it. Fine. Tell me where you keep the multi-headed monsters around here, and I'll be right back. <laughs> no, 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 my dear Keeper. My realm, my rules. I have four gates. Instead of one guardian for them all, I want you to find me four guardians. One for each of them. The underworld is filled with kings, heroes, legends. All lost. All trying to find purpose. You could give them that purpose. Teach me how to use this stuff, and it's a deal. Ah, yes. The trials of the Keeper. I've already heard how you'll stop at nothing to figure out that boring little stick of yours. This boring little stick? Tell you what. Go talk to my ferryman, Harun. Help him put things back in order. And I'll help you fulfill your destiny. See what you've done? These are everywhere now. Fix it. Oh, I'll fix it. My brother and I have a little wager on whether or not you'll succeed in your quest. Don't let me down. You don't want to owe me twice. How was my day? Well, 
I killed a three-headed beast, got yelled at by Hades, and now I'm on my way to meet the ferryman of the underworld. How was yours? The sun gives off no warmth. Are you the ferryman? A busy ferryman. Someone just had to kill the guardian of the gate, and now I'm up to my eyeballs in rotting new covers. So, unless some god sent you to plug all the holes and clean up the mess between the realms, I don't want anything to do with you. It just so happens that Hades sent me. What did a shiny, living fleshling like you do to end up in debt to the god of the underworld? I, uh... <clears throat> may have killed Cerberus. Well, now that Hades' big dog is dead, rifts have opened all across the underworld. My passengers are being attacked by prisoners of Tartaros and all of his little dogs. Listen, I have to find four guardians to protect the gates and close the rifts. Hades said you'd need my help. Unbelievable. He sends a fleshling through the underworld to fix a problem only the dead can solve. Only the dead can solve. So that's why I felt so weak when I fought those things. The last fleshling who worked for Hades wore a special suit of armor, but he's been torn to shreds. Now the armor's been scattered across the realm. My mother told me my path would be tough, but she never prepared me for this. And you're going to have to fight some pretty vengeful warriors to collect four of the pieces. The fifth, a set of gauntlets, has gone missing. You... do fine. Time to put this place back in order. All you need to do is collect some armor, defeat angry warriors, and find four guardians to protect the underworld. Right. Seeing as you're new here, I'll give you some advice. The Baron Pond, the Eternal Battlefield, and Hades Palace are all excellent places to start. And if you happen to have any spare time, I've got some work for you as well. A set of footprints. Too small to be an adult. this? A message? Phoebe? Oh, Phoebe, I never thought I'd see you again. Are you a goddess? Phoebe, it's me, Cassandra. It's nice to meet you, Cassandra. Is that your eagle? I wish I had an eagle. I know you do, Phoebe. 
I know you do. What are you doing here? Playing? How do you know my name? Kefalonia, Marcos, Athens, Aspasia. Do you remember any of it? Me? I don't remember you. Do you work for the man with one eye? Who's that? He gave me this water when I was thirsty. You drank Lethe's water? Phoebe, this is very important. I need you to remember who gave you that. I... I don't remember his name. Um, he took my toy. You had an eagle, like Icarus. If we get your eagle back, maybe you'll remember. No, I remember everything. I think. The man with one eye should never have given you this water or taken your toy eagle. We're going to get it back. You mean steal? Stealing is exactly what I mean. Something tells me you are going to be a natural. Want to come with me? You want me to come on an adventure with you? Okay. Then let the adventure begin. You remind me a lot of a girl I knew on Kefalonia. Have you ever been there? I've always been right here. What was the girl like? Oh, she was brave. And smart. She'd say she looked up to me, but... I'm the one who looked up to her. You looked up to her? Did you ever tell her? No. I wanted to. But I ran out of time. Don't be sad. I bet she knew. That girl left Kefalonia eventually. Where did she go? Athens. Where she was loved by people like Pericles. Does that name sound familiar to you? <laughs> That's a funny name. It sounds like a sneeze. What about Anthusa? No one who meets her forgets her. No, sorry. Okay, we're here. You bet... on Kefalonia. Even if this doesn't bring her memory back, we'll make new ones, together. My eagle! Couldn't have done it without you. Now, hold it. Do you remember anything? Cassandra? Yes. 
That's my name. Good, Phoebe. Good. just left me. My parents, Marcos, Aspasia, even you? What was wrong with me? Wasn't I good enough? No, Phoebe. There is nothing wrong with you. Adults are selfish. Stupid. They don't realize how incredible a girl like you is until... You're gone. What do you mean? Why don't you tell me what you remember? Pericles was dying. Everyone who wasn't sick yet needed to get out of Athens. I thought I was alone. I was always alone. And then... <sighs> I'm so sorry, Phoebe. I'm... Where are the Golden Fields? You mean Elysium? I was there. It was beautiful. But I came here to find my parents. You traveled to the Underworld to save your family. That's very brave. Just like you want to find yours. But mine still need me. I should go to them. Phoebe, you've been through a lot and you've never met your parents. It's okay to be nervous. I was nervous to meet mine. I wouldn't be nervous... ...if you came with me. It would be an honor to be there for you when you meet your parents. The last I heard about my parents, they were hiding in the exil. Hiding? From what? The underworld is scary. Maybe they're not fighters like us. I could teach them what you taught me. I'm sure you could. Phoebe, stay back! the Cyclops the girl isn't here and neither is her family now get back relax we're not going to hurt you but we need to know what happened here those thugs followed the Cyclops of Kefalonia to their graves and now they follow him in the underworld he sent them through here looking for a girl the man with one eye have you ever met a girl named Phoebe this is Phoebe. So you are, my dear. I loved your parents as I loved my own. They hid here with me and told tales about the great warrior Phoebe who sailed to Elysium. They called me a warrior? When Cerveros died, they snuck off to find you themselves. But the Cyclops is looking for you too. Excuse us, please. 
I remember now. The man with the one eye is the Cyclops. He forced me to drink the water. He must know we stole your eagle back and came to retaliate. What do we do? The gates to Elysium are open. That's how your parents got through. I know the way. What about her? She's a friend of my parents. I want to help her. She seems like she can fend for herself. The Kiris are magic. They heal people who get hurt in battle. They live close by. I could... Phoebe... I can do this. I'll be quick. Then we'll go to Elysium and find my parents. <sighs> All right. But don't take too long, or I'm coming after you. Phoebe's eagle. But where is she? Eagle. Tell me what you did to Phoebe. Bearer. I overheard the Cyclops saying you were in the Underworld, but I didn't believe it. I'm looking for a girl. Her name was Phoebe. It is. Her name is Phoebe. They took a girl onto one of their boats, but... But what? She wasn't moving. Get out of here while you can. I'm going to find the Cyclops and stop him once and for all. Take this as thanks. You can pay Charon to send you down the sticks after them. Charon, one of the prisoners said the Cyclops took a friend of mine down the sticks. Oh, the young girl from Elysium. They dumped her lifeless body into one of my old ports. Take me to her. What is it you fleshlings do to calm down? Breathe? Yes. Breathe and tell me what happened. The Cyclops hated me in life and he hates me in death. He's using my friend to get to me. Help me stop this. Very well. I know precisely where the Cyclops of Kefalonia was taking your young friend. It's a gate. The place should seem familiar to all of you. Oh, thank you. Now we have to go.
my home on Kefalonia. How is this possible? Phoebe! Phoebe! Been a long time. Heard you and the girl finally came down to join us. Couldn't pass up the opportunity to show you both a warm Kevalonian welcome. If you hurt her. If. I will cut out your other fucking eye, and this time it's going up your ass, Cyclops. No one calls me that. <laughs> Give it to me. Maybe I'll cut out one of your eyes. Come and try. Make you suffer. The way you let Phoebe suffer, eh? Did you? Mother of all, I greet you. Aniazu. Cassandra? <gasps> you're okay! And you're... Here. I'll always be with you, Phoebe. Forever. No matter what. Thank you. Can you stand? Oof. What is this place? And where is the Cyclops? Don't worry, the Cyclops is gone. And this... is a doorway to Elysium. So that's it? Through there? I'll find my real parents. You can do this, Phoebe. Let's go. Seeing this place... Makes me miss Kefalonia. We had some good days, didn't we? I don't want to go. You have no choice, Phoebe. You belong with your parents. No. I belong with you. Please, don't make me go. Don't be afraid. I'm leaving this place too once I finish what I started. But I will be with you. I, uh, found this. Take it with you. To keep me close. What if... my parents don't like me? Of course they're going to like you. They'll do more than like you. 
They love you. But I won't be able to forget you. You're my family too. Can I come back here and find you? No. Once you leave, you can never come back. But one day, a long time from now, I will come to you. And we'll tell each other all about our adventures. You'll always be my family, no matter what. I think I'm ready. Phoebe, the warrior who sailed to the Golden Fields. Phoebe, who plunged into the underworld to save her family. Phoebe, the eagle bearer. You have made me so proud. Walk tall. I told you she wouldn't let the kid lose her memories. Instead, she drew out the child's own strength and inspired her to endure her burden. Remarkable. have mercy after all. Oh, Mistyos, your appearance is what I've been waiting for. Funny. You're the last person I want to see. Of course, of course. Our parting terms were less than amicable. You sent me to kill my father and tried to kill me. Which I now regret. Deeply. Seeing the underworld torn apart by chaos has shown me the error of my ways. Enough talk. If you want me to believe your change of heart, prove it with action. Of course. I'd expect nothing less. What a mess. Elpinor, I expect this to be cleaned up. Of course, Hades. And consider finding a more permanent solution to the mongers' attacks while you're at it. The mongers here too? The monger escaped Tartarus. He's continuing the cult's work by recruiting other escaped prisoners as they exit the rifts. I've seen them. They put up a good fight. We've captured one of them, but he won't tell me where the monger is hiding. Threaten him, perhaps? What makes you think I'd help you? Hades and I are close, 
And you need him to teach you about your staff. Helping me helps Hades. He'll appreciate this, Cassandra. As would I, of course. Fine. But I'm doing this for myself. By Zeus! Not you again, Elpinor! Uh, I've heard enough of your spineless posturings to last two lifetimes. Sounds like you and I are on the same side. I can't stand Elpinor either. <laughs> you two seem pretty friendly to me. I'm the one who sent him here in the first place. He's a traitor to the monger's cause. Tell me where the monger is hiding, and I'll deliver Elpinor to him myself. All right, fine, fine. If only to shut you up. He's hiding out in the Lost Temple of Nyx. You'll never be able to take him down, anyway. Exceptional. I've been tracking the monger from the moment the rifts appeared. There's just one problem. The Lost Temple of Nyx is behind the Veil. The Veil? Since Cerberus was killed, it spilled out into the Underworld. The Veil of Tartarus was created to keep out living mortals, so that only those beyond redemption could enter the prison of the wicked. Which means you'll make it through just fine. But Haron said I would need armor. Yes, the armor of the Fallen. Lucky for you, I may be able to help so we can both infiltrate the Monger's hideout. Haron already told me that four of the armor pieces are guarded by the Fallen, but that the gauntlets were lost long ago. Haron tends to confuse lost with misplaced. Rest assured, I will help you find the gauntlets. Meet me at Kronos' treasury. Sandra, I'm glad you've come. Would you blame me if I didn't? I learn your trust in time. And we can begin that process now. This door will lead us to Kronos' treasury, where the gauntlets you'll need are stored. I have the key here. If you want me to trust you, you have to start being honest with me. Why do you have the key? Hades had me tidy the treasury for him once. I'll need those gauntlets if we want to catch the monger. My thoughts exactly. I'll offer my assistance as your personal guide through the treasury. Let's just get this over with. Of course, Mistyus. Whatever you need. Ah. Tread carefully. The prisoners of Tartarus have been known to attack us. cleared from the other side. You wouldn't mind climbing across and letting me I might consider it. Then again, I might not. I'll see how I feel when I get there.
Well done. Now clear the path and I can join you. Perfect. Now let's get to the treasury. So, um, how's working for the God of the Dead? You really want to know? Try me. All the myths and stories don't come close to doing Hades justice. He's cunning, inspiring, a true architect of life, and also of death. Something's He's everything I aspire to be. Kronos's treasury. Kronos hid all his worldly possessions here, far away from the sounds that had been prophesied to be his undoing. It was my favorite story as a child. All the myths, stories, and epics told throughout the generations were transpiring beneath us all along. And now we get to play among the gods, together. Let's find the gauntlets quickly. Over here. These gauntlets will help me get past the veil. Thanks for your help. My pleasure, of course. All right. Let's get out of here. We make great men. Meet me at the Lost Temple of Nyx when you're ready to take on the monger. Alright, Haron. I'm ready to hear about your lost souls. Oh, them? Not everyone in the underworld belongs here. These souls are lost. Their true resting place deserves to be found. I'll help you, Ferryman. But where should I start? There's a soldier, an Athenian. He wished to die an honorable death in battle, but as he charged towards the enemy, he slipped in the dirt. ...and fell. Sounds like quite the warrior. He needs a glorious death to pass on to Elysium, but he cannot go to war without his weapon and armor. One is located in the Restless Necropolis, and the other is in the hands of a champion known as Swordfish. Swordfish... ...of course he'd be here. I'll return the soldier's equipment and help him claim the death he seeks. They'll be on high alert here. The restless necropolis. Sounds fun.
armor doesn't look like much. to fill your veins with the venom of a thousand snakes! You failed to save this. When I'm done, I'll send him your body. That was the hard killer who tried poisoning politicians in Athens. Fishes. This must be the sword. I've got the Athenian sword and armor. Now I just have to return them to him. The smell of battle is always the... A fellow warrior. Did death find you on the battlefield like it did me? I'll give you the glorious death you seek. I can't fight you unarmed. There's no honor in that. Lucky for you, I have your armor and weapon here. It feels... different. You'll get the hang of it. I joined the war to protect my home from the siege of Sparta. Tell me, did we save glorious Athens and its people? Athens is safe. Your army defeated Sparta at the gates of the city. You have brought me comfort. Now, bring me peace. Don't go easy on me, Athenian. Let's end this the right way. Ah! <laughs> 
After I killed you, Vimos is dead. Thanks to the power Vimos gave me, I am immortal. Victitas. The one my brother killed to spare me. Now let me tell you my plan to catch the monger. Let's hear it. I'm ready. Exceptional. I'll distract the prisoners while you head straight to the monger. We can't let him escape. Once you defeat him, take him to the deepest abyss of Tartaros. You'll have to pass through the entrails of Gaia to get there. Entrails of... Uh, never mind. Let's go. Monger! Ugly in life, ugly in death. I can't believe you're working with that fucking jellyfish, Elfidor! Ha! Took you long enough. <laughs> Hades wants you back in Tartarus, where you belong! Ha! Hades doesn't fucking care! What's the matter? Give me a Terra to do your fighting for you? This time, I'll tear you to shreds! You fought better the first time I killed you! Fuck you! You're dead meat! I'm going to do to you what I wanted to do to your mother! And Vinar has been waiting for your head. We make a good pair. At first I was worried you wouldn't stick to the plan. You haven't been very trusting of me. Can you really blame me? You and the cult destroyed my life. I understand, but tell me you see that I've changed. That I'm trying to do good in death, where I failed in life. 
I cannot move on without your acceptance. Suppose you have changed a bit. My dear Eagle Bearer, you have no idea what your forgiveness means to me. Who said anything about forgiveness? I feel as though I can finally move on. Hades, I... we returned the monger to Tartarus for you, just as you asked. I made no such request. But you referred to the monger as a thorn in your side. And you inferred that I wanted him returned. Clearly you still have much to learn, Elpinor. We'll discuss this later at my palace. Still, I'm on my way to eternal peace. Thanks to you. I believe you're forgetting something, brother. Why would you help your enemy find peace? I thought you and Elpinor were working together. Elpinor was merely a means to further along your far more interesting journey. Any chance this means you'll teach me more about the staff now? Patience, Keeper. A few more twists are still to come along your path. I'm looking forward to seeing how it all plays out. You used Elpinor as some sort of trial for me. Close. But the fates wove your path with a defter hand than that. What are you talking about? You'll know soon enough. Ready to help another of your lost dead. My, my. Aren't you a productive little fleshling, hmm? Tell me, how did things go with the Athenian? Athens meant everything to him. I spared him the truth. You brought comfort to a troubled soul. I couldn't tell him the plague destroyed everything he loved. Ah, the plague. Busy times. So busy, I lost someone. A woman whose family couldn't bear to bend the body. So she's stuck down here. She now wanders the halls of the passage of souls, still sick with plague. The Thanados pyre can purify the dead, but the only way she'd survive the ordeal is by consuming an asphodel flower. I'll get the flower and make sure she reaches the pyre. Be careful out there. Something as rare as an asphodel flower in this place will surely draw a great deal of attention. The air feels different here. Reminds me of Elysium. That's what I'm looking for. <sighs> Testicles! Ah, it's nice to see you in one piece. Mistyos! Yes, I like it. Nothing trying to eat this place. What are you doing here? Came looking for a magic flower. Sounded so pretty. Wanted pretty flower oil. Have you seen it? I have the Asphodel flower. I needed to save someone who's sick. But I need the flower, Mistyos. I came all this way to get it. And I will. <laughs> Flower for testicles. How can the dead bear it here? Just the mortal I was looking for. What do you want, Hades? It's funny how the tiniest, most insignificant things to some can mean the world to others. Good. More riddles. My darling wife hasn't been the same since the death of Cerberus. I would see her smile again. 
The flower you picked is the last of its kind in my world. And it happens to be her favorite. But Harun wants me to give it to the plagued woman. And you wanted me to help Harun. Tell you what. Give the flower to me. And in exchange, I'll give you the location of one of the fallen you're hunting. Keep me out of your marital affairs. The flower goes to the sick woman. Have it your way. My hounds will get their meal. They always do. Please, stay back. I'm very sick. I've been sent to help you get better. Nothing can cure me. Even here, I'm cursed by this plague. Here, eat this flower. It will help you feel strong. I feel... different. I feel better. But the plague is still with me. I will take you to a place where you can feel better. There is a fire that will cleanse you. A fire? Are, are you sure it will help me? Won't it hurt? The flower you ate will protect you. If this is the only way, then I suppose I have to try. Am I cursed to be sick forever? Look, the pyre. We've reached it. Strange. This fire gives off no heat. I brought the woman to the pyre. <sighs> I like having an assistant. If only you were dead, you could stay forever. Unfortunately, not my plan. Such is life. Hmm? And death. On to the next lost souls. A family devastated by war wanders without refuge. I know how it feels to lose a home. Yes, you all have sad stories to tell. At least most who come here are dead now. I think I would still be sad if I was dead. The suffering you fleshlings inflict on each other never ceases to astound me. And that's why we are helping all the lost we can. You're right. They deserve to have somewhere safe to stay. Someone is hiding over there. Please don't hurt us! Leave us alone! Stay back! I know how to fight. I'm not here to hurt you. Then what do you want? I've come to take you away from this place. Take you somewhere safe. Why would you help us? I was asked to find you and take you to safety. We have no friends here. Only each other. But the hounds are drawing close, so what choice do we have? There has to be somewhere nearby where you'd be safe. There's a cave not too far from here that could provide some shelter. It didn't look very inviting, but it's better than here. Anywhere else? There was also an abandoned camp. 
It would be ideal if not for all the strange creatures in the area. It could be dangerous. We should go to the camp. Stay close. Adi Konesti! will serve us well. Thank you. You've been a true friend. Next soldier! Brasidas, it's me, Cassandra. Athenians together at the Battle of Pylos. The battlefield was engulfed in flames. I was cut down by a warrior like no other. The same warrior who sent me here. Cassandra? It's good to see you, old friend. Friend? Friends watch each other's backs, but you were always out for yourself. My needs and the needs of our people were never a passing thought. I know I let you down. I tried to make it up to you at Amphipolis, but... I couldn't save you in time. What are you doing here? You're not dead, are you? No, not yet at least. I have a staff from my father. My real father. It has powers. I was sent to the Underworld to learn how to use them. Powers? It's a long story. But I've been all over Elysium looking for answers. My search brought me here. You've been to Elysium? Honor the gods. Honor Sparta. Keep your oaths, and Elysium is yours. 
My father told me this as a child, and every single day of my life I lived by that code. But now in death, I'm sentenced to this misery. Maybe you didn't fully live up to that code. Impossible. I recited those words every morning and every night. They've been burned into my mind. You should be taking this up with Hades. This was Hades' decision. He says I can go to Elysium on one condition. I need to confront my greatest enemy. Demos. Demos. Brasidas, you shouldn't be waiting here to fight him. Why not? Demos still lives. Hades tricked you. No matter. He'll show up. Eventually. What did Hades tell you exactly? He said... To walk Elysium in death, the son of Sparta must confront that which defeated him in life. Gods and their fucking riddles! Can't they ever just say what they mean? <sighs> but I think I've already solved your first problem. And that is? A true son of Sparta wouldn't dare face an enemy without their shield. We need to find yours. It's in the Forgotten Sepulchre. I tried to retrieve it, but Hades sent guards to defend the tomb after some Malakas killed Severus. That Malakas was me. And now I'm stuck working for Hades. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? You've made things around here... complicated. I wasn't the friend you needed in life. Let me be a friend to you now. Courage eludes me in the underworld. Deep down, I'd hoped I'd never have to face Demos again. The weight of your shield will help you feel like your old self. Make sure to take only mine. Taking any others will be your doom. might be the key to opening the door.
people drink Lethe's water here in the underworld to forget. Water, time, the mind. It's another riddle. I should return to the door. This is the underworld. Drink the water, it makes you forget. Your time spent. They won't ask any questions. Let's keep out of sight. Three shields. Now which one belongs to Brasidas? Give us a shield. <laughs> Your shield, General. I'll never forget the day this was first handed to me. I was a boy. It was as tall as I was. My commander told me, to hold this is to hold up Sparta. Drop it, and Sparta falls. Tell me what Elysium's like. It isn't what you think. It's... Do you feel cold? Elysium is boring. Not since I showed up. Ah, yes. You do have a knack for livening things up wherever you go. Ah, still dreaming of paradise, I see. Well, no one wants you to get what you deserve more than me. I'm glad you two have found each other. We could all use a little help from time to time. Well, you've got your shield. Are you ready to face your enemy? I am. Don't look, Brasidas. Hades is trying to get to you. Afraid of you, Themos. What is this? An even greater enemy defeated you long before Demos ended your life. Themos was blessed by the fury of the gods. And even after he cut you down once, you still didn't learn. It wasn't hubris. I fought for honor.
You made Sparta proud that day, Brasidas. You honored your father's oath. Perhaps I didn't. A Spartan should trust the warrior at their side. This time, we fight together. It would be my honor. It was good fighting together again. I guess it's time to say goodbye. Very good. The spears were my brother's idea. Poseidon can be cruel sometimes. I did as you asked. You promised me Elysium. Hmm. Not quite. But you said... I said that to walk Elysium in death... The son of Sparta must confront that which defeated him in life. And you have not yet done so. I know, I know. It's all very hard to wrap your little mortal minds around. Which is why I'm going to help you. Why these games? Why not just let him go? Because eternity is long. Letting you go wouldn't be much fun, now would it? Find the forest of Oasis. The dead will point the way. Come, Brasidas. The sooner we get this done, the sooner you can be free of this place. Forest. Now what? Hades told us the dead would point away. The they need to be yeah. shut down now. <laughs>
I've been waiting for you. Who are you? I am Lilera, and you are Brasidas. General, conqueror, hero. Hades sent me to find you. So you finally come to reunite me with my love. Charon carried us along the river, but we got separated. Bring my love to me, and I'll tell you all I know. Where must I go? Between the sulfuric pools and the village of the condemned, there is a cave. My love lies within. This task is mine. I will go. I can't imagine spending eternity without those I love. You must be in great pain. I'll tell you all. If Vrasidas succeeds... What do you mean, if? The weight of the past can be a much heavier burden to carry than we realize. I should go find him. He might need my help. This must be the place. There you are. What's wrong? What is this place? The cradle of the underworld. Little ones who die too soon are kept here. The dead cannot enter. The dead can't enter, eh? Well, let's see about the living. coming from. These urns. 
Her love was her child. And what did you find? Ashes. Her love was her baby. Why would Hades have you return the ashes of a woman's child? I don't know. What did you do to him? The past was too much for him to bear. Brasidas, talk to me. I... can't. Please. I know you've suffered. Still suffer. Tell me what happened and we'll leave you alone. We were a quiet village before the Spartans came. My husband was no warrior. He looked Athenian. Our land was occupied by Athens. Our men were friends, supplied with armor and weapons in case of invasion. We never thought that they would come. When the battle was over, Spartans flooded the village, drunk on victory and blood. They torched our homes. Your husband attacked me in the street. He was protecting his people, his family. But Brasidas butchered my husband. And when I tried to protect him, he tossed me aside. <laughs> My love didn't survive the fall. I didn't know. And so we named him Brasidas the Butcher. He massacred my people and took everything from me. I found my husband's sword and ended the pain. Is this true? I don't know what happened. War is chaos. If you want to point fingers, point them at Ares. The god of war didn't run his sword through my husband. Didn't throw me and my child to the ground. Rasidas the Butcher did. Come, Rasidas. There is nothing more to be done here. Honor the gods. Honor Sparta. Keep your oaths, and Elysium is yours. I made an oath to protect the innocent, and I broke it. Still feel you deserve to walk the fields of paradise, butcher? Don't call him that. Why not? That woman's entire village does. What's left of it anyways? You Spartans really know how to torch a village. You never answered my question. Say the word, and Elysium is yours. Help me, Cassandra. I, I don't know what to do. Brasidas, you were a friend like no other. You lived and died with honor to the gods and to Sparta. And you kept all your oaths to me. If anyone deserves to walk the fields of Elysium, it's you. I want to stay. I don't belong in Elysium. It is for the honorable. But after everything that's happened, 
You've made me realize I've lost my honor. I've lost my place in paradise. Is this your final decision? Excellent. And I have just the task for you. The cradle is now open to you, Brasidas. You will spend eternity reuniting families separated by war. Do you accept this fate? I do. Good. Now, say goodbye. Thank you for everything you've done for this old warrior. Thank you for being a friend. Goodbye, Brasidas. It was good to see you. You knew he would stay all along, didn't you? I had a feeling. Want to know a fate worse than death? An eternity without toys. There's nothing more predictable than an honorable Spartan. A disaster! Can't I just have a normal day of ferrying the dead? Tell me what happened. All of these souls have had their coins stolen. Assistant, you have to find the thief and get the coins back so the dead can cross the sticks. Why don't you just let them through? Yeah, I know you're new around here, but that's not really how we do things in the underworld. Besides, Hades would burn me one toe at a time if I did. All right. I'll find the coin thief. You hear that, everyone? My assistant will find the coin thief. I'll come back when I have news. I'd start looking in the Passage of Souls. It's where the first coins went missing. Good luck. With all the thieves in the underworld, I'll need it. something here and then came back. <laughs> Must have been in a hurry. Empty coin purses. The strings have been cut. How am I supposed to find anything in this dirty, horrible wasteland? You must be looking for your stolen coins. How do you know? Maybe you're the criminal who came to admire their handiwork. I'm looking for the thief, too. But I won't help with that attitude. Fine. I found nothing here myself anyway. I think I've got what I need. Any news of my coins? You must remember when you last had your coins. Of course I remember. I was walking through the valley with the rest and struck up conversation with a merchant. So arrogant. Still wearing his jewels and gold. Won't do much for him here. <laughs> when I reached the docks, they were gone. Did anything catch your attention? The merchant I spoke to seemed nervous. He asked if we really had to pay the ferryman. Perhaps his coins were already stolen? I think I've got what I need. You don't look like the usual people I see passing through here. I'm not dead, if that's what you mean. I'm searching for something. Makes two of us. I'm looking for the coins I lost. Uh, they must be around here somewhere. I have to go. Good luck in your search. Oh, you're back. Did you need something? 
Think of when you last had them. I remember wandering with the crowd of other people. We were all moving towards the dock. I don't remember where we came from, but as we reached this place, the crowd halted as a man, a politician, I think, got up and addressed us. Where were you when you realized your coins were missing? At the dock. I was going to pay the ferryman when I discovered they were gone. Did you see anything strange during your travels? Mm. Only the politician. He was moving away from the docks while everyone else was moving toward them. I have to go. Good luck in your search. The dagger... looks expensive. Must have been used to cut the coins out. of my coins? I found this dagger. Remind you of anything? Aha! That's what I felt. It nicked me when they cut the strings of my purse. So did you see who did it? No, I was too focused on the politician addressing the crowd. Captivating man. I think I've got what I need. Hmm. The witness was cut while the politician was speaking to the crowd. A gold bracelet. But it's broken. Must have snapped when its owner was digging. Finally! I was starting to worry you'd got lost. I didn't think your kind were capable of worrying. There are many things you don't know about us. Like how impatient we are. Have you discovered who stole the coins? So, the dead were robbed while a politician gave a speech. One witness thought he looked suspicious because he was wandering through the crowd, away from the docks. Ah, yes. Even I noticed him. But a rich merchant was asking about paying the toll. I found a nice dagger that must have cut the coins out. And I found a gold bracelet near the hole that hid the coins. The plot thickens. It was the merchant. He stole the coins. A greedy merchant. Typical. Come, let us deal with him and be done with this. So you are the one who took the coins from these people. This is nonsense. No one should have to pay to enter the underworld. Spare me your platitudes. You stole because you're greedy. These people had nothing in life. They need nothing in death. If I can't live a comfortable life, nobody should. So nice to see you. Whatever brings you to my shore? I could hear this ruckus from the bowels of Tartarus. What is happening here? <gasps> this man stole coins from the dead and then threw them into the river Styx. Mortals always seem to find new ways to surprise me. I'm glad you're finding this funny, but these people had coins for fair passage and now they don't. If they do not have coins, they cannot cross into my realm. That is the law, Aroth. They were sent here with the coins as law and tradition state. They deserve to be granted passage. Why don't we let our friend here decide their fate? These people were robbed of their chance for peace. They deserve passage. Well said, Cassandra. They will be granted passage to the underworld. And what of him? Feed him to your hounds. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that.
Sometimes we have to make difficult choices. To be able to do so confidently is a rare trait in your kind. I've done it before. I'll have to do it again. For such a hopeless fleshling, you've come a long way. Now that Hades is gone, there's something you should have. Thank you, Haron. It's a shame you have to go. You've been a good assistant. I hope you find the answers you seek. Lend me your might! You dare challenge the Slayer of the Horgon? I'm not here to challenge you, Perseus. I need your help. My help must be earned. Zeus! Father! Fight with me! Perseus, we're allies, and I need your help. Go to the gates and protect this place. Is in chaos. Observe all these and go to the gates. You want me to be a servant? Prove it! There's no honor in here! Stop! Achilles, Hades needs you. Go to the gates and guard them with your life. watching for me. I need to be careful. Ah! 
Your blood is as sweet as a fox. Ah, finally Hades has sent me a drink. I'll bow if you go to the gates and protect the underworld. This place needs a king, Agamemnon. Go to the gates and protect the people the way you do best. The one who killed Cerberus. In a long time since I had a good fight. Miracles, I'm not here to fight you. I need you. I said, fight. Respect, young one. You fight like an Argonaut. Please, rise up and be a hero for Hades and for all the people in the underworld. No one notices me here.
knowledge of the gods should be useful in the underworld. Cassandra returns. Victory written across her face. Where's your brother? Not here to settle any bets? It's already been settled. He lost. The gates have their guardians. Haron's lost souls have found peace. Now, tell me what you know about the staff. <laughs> I never promised you that. I promised to fulfill your destiny. Mastering the staff is my destiny, and you're going to show me. You were never in a position to bargain with me. Your life was mine. The moment you killed Cerberus, I could have had anyone place guardians at those gates. Truth is, I needed you to grow accustomed. What are you talking about? Oh, did I not mention? I have a fifth gate. And you're going to spend the rest of eternity protecting it. That is your destiny. I didn't bow to your wife, and I won't bow to you. Oh, you'll fucking bow. <laughs> Shame it has to end this way. You would have made an excellent addition to my dead hero. Collect this! Pathetic humans end up here eventually. Why fight it?
I don't see what's funny. You act like any of this matters. But you're a prisoner wherever you are. Victoria, what did you do? You guys okay down there? Cut the comms! This has gone way too far. I'm shutting this down. I can handle it. You're not acting like yourself. You're acting like a child. Look at you! Can't you see what the staff is doing? Plugging into Themos's memories. Letting you run rogue in the underworld? It's the bleeding effect. It's hurting you. You need to stop. Give it back, now! No! It's me or the staff! You have to choose! Let go! It's not worth it! This is for your own! Get up, Victoria! Must be some mistake. It... No, no, it was an accident. I, I swear. I don't know what happened to me. I. The air of memories would never do this. Do this? Victoria was my friend. It wasn't me. This won't work. I need time. You think I did this on purpose? It was the staff, Alethea. I'm not a bad person. I don't kill. The air of memories in my vision had foresight. Your reaction was entirely human and inhumane. I fear you'll learn nothing from what I've created for you. I am the air of memories. I can control the staff. Listen to me. I know I can do it. That is not for you to decide. I decide your worthiness. Though it may be too late for that. Fine. I'll go for a while. Just... Don't let anything happen to her, okay? And don't leave. Please. I'll be back. I'm not going anywhere. <sighs> Damn it. I'm sorry, Victoria. I can't quit now. <laughs> 